What's up, everybody? It is Rolling Joku 89, and I'm here to show you guys something some people may not have known about. This is in Race Room. Um, a lot of people, including this video I watched this morning, this guy was talking about drifting um, on a, a Race Room. They just came out with a new update. They're saying that it's very unrealistic because inside the cockpit, you can only see um, the hands go 180 degrees. And I um, tried to tell them that, that you can change the setting, and they're like, oh, I can't find it. So I'm here to just make this quick video. Maybe you already knew about this, maybe you didn't. It'll help everybody out. Um, but you go to graphics, you go to cockpit. When you go to cockpit, you go to steering animation and you put it on custom. And when you go to custom, you can see you can adjust it. I have mine set at 900, but my actual uh, steering ratio on my Moza is set to 540. Um, but that's just so it gives you the full range. And after you do that, you go to match car setup. That will match the actual setting that the car is modeled with in the simulator. So, for example, if you're driving the F1 car, it'll be like 360 or, you know, 400 or whatever. A GT car will be like 540 or 470 or whatever it might be, right? And then you just click that and then you're, that's it. It works as it should. And so I'll show everybody real quick. Um... I'm in a practice session. We're in the Formula Race Room. We're at Asher Slavin. So I haven't tried the drift cars yet, but I'll probably try those a little bit later when I get back from the gym tonight. But I just wanted to make this video real quick just because, you know, you gotta help people out. Alright, so, as you can see, that's more than 180. This is 180 degrees, this is 360. So now, I'll go ahead and start the car. Okay, pit speed is 50 miles per hour. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.